This is the port district of Tel Aviv. It's a popular shopping area and the perfect place to meet up with Dror Sharon, a former member of the Air Force, and now the founder of Consumer Physics. The company raised $2.7 million via a huge Kickstarter campaign so that it could produce a device called the Sayo, which may soon change the way we shop for groceries. When you think about it, how do you make your selection today? Grab it and feel the, how firm it is. Or so it's good, yeah. but you, know, you might want to have some scientific backing to what you're doing. Right. The Sayo replaces your grandmother's squeeze test. Sorry, Grandma. To tell you the best cucumber or tomato to pick. In an instant, it displays the food's calorie, fat, and sugar content. It's the quickest way to finding the perfect potato. <laughs> That's cool. It's really cool. And you can actually train yourself, <laughs> I mean, right? this is like some Star Trek <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> The spectrometer usually looks like this. It's a big old hunk of scientific gear that can peer into things and determine their properties. Rather incredibly, the SIO shrinks much of the same technology down onto a chip. It zaps an object with near-infrared light, stirs up its molecules, and tells a story about the object. As people go around zapping things with the SIO, the objects get put into a database. This then becomes a giant log of all the materials in our world. That sounds all well and good. But how would the SIO fare against one of mankind's most mysterious creations? This is the cheese test. Good old American Velveeta. Mm -hmm. the label is on the label, it's 290 here, here it's 300. 300. So it's almost so spot it's on. Yeah, well, what's the fat percentage on the 23. label? 23. 23 and you're 25. The Sayo's value should go well beyond kumquats and industrialized cheese. It can help farmers decide when to harvest their crops. It can detect watered down fuel at shady gas stations and it can tell real medicine from fake pills. When you think of healthcare, actually, it's not about what you're buying, it's actually tracking your well-being over time. Okay. And instead of sending stuff to the lab, you'll actually be able to measure it on yourself. Drawer even sees a future for this device in your bathroom. <laughs> you can measure teeth, you can measure saliva, you can measure hair, you can measure urine, you can yeah. measure the other things. So, I mean, there's there's a ton of stuff, and people are telling us that they're going to use it for clinical trials. So I'm going to take my this. smartphone into the toilet and... Well, it'll be probably inside your toilet already. All right, yeah, that makes sense.